All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Direwolf 21.16. Guys, today we are going to be getting into some fun stuff, uh, starting off with automating our processor automation guy thingamabobbers. You know, um, these guys here, these logic processors, yeah, we're going to be automating these. Everyone is worried, you know, can't do it, won't, don't know how to do it. Well, I've found a way and it uses mechanism. So we're going to be using these mechanism transport cables. So we're going to need to make up a bunch of those. Um, so I'm going to need to start off this episode by making up a heck ton of steel. So I will go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and move forward with everything else. All right, guys, before we move any further ahead in the video, I want to let you know we do have quite a few uh, new people here on the channel. So I just want to remind all of you who are maybe not aware and all of the people who are new here that I am partnered over with MC Pro Hosting. Uh, they have some amazing customer service with their with their, their Minecraft service. So you can go ahead and purchase one from them. Use the code down in the description. Uh, or you could use code Turtle Club to get 15% off your first month. Again, they have amazing uh, customer service. I highly recommend them. All right, guys. So we've got all the stuff we need in order to go ahead and set up this auto-inscriber setup. It is kind of big. Unfortunately, we have to use mechanism, and it, it, it kind of gets a little too bulky in, in some spots. But we're going to make it work. Uh, so what we're going to need first off is we're going to need three uh, input inventories. I would suggest a uh, bigger chest. If you're playing in the mod pack with me, I would suggest uh, the, the gold chest or something like that. Uh, you're going to need something that along this size if you want to do like a, like a massive craft. Uh, I'm actually going to be upgrading these to diamond here pretty soon. But if you guys are only like if you only have access to like double chest, I, I would use a double chest. Um, use the biggest inventory you can that will allow multiple items. And then um, to get the items in there, we're going to need the ME interfaces. We're going to need the cables. Uh, and these are going to be our bread and butter. Um, these are the logistical sorters from Mechanism. And what these guys can do is they can take items out of the gold chest, mark them with a certain color, and then we can mark a certain color for an input on the, the basic logistical transporter cables to go into a specific slot on the inscribers. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of configuring... The, the, the transport cables to make it as compact as possible, but it is doable. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through this here and then we'll get this we'll, we'll, we'll get this far departed, you know? Auto crafting these guys is a, a big pain for everyone. All right, so here we go. We got our input chest up here. Uh, we're gonna be taking the logistical supporter or sorter down here and pushing it straight down like so, perfect. Uh, I haven't decided which we're gonna make this, but we do need a nine for each of them. We're gonna put one here and one here as well. Um, so we're gonna put one here, there, and there. So this is what it's gonna look like from the front. Uh, these, this is gonna be 100% automated, so it's gonna be super duper cool. All right, so the first step is to get some silicone. All right, and so we're gonna get one of these silicone guys made up here real quick um, so that we can go ahead and like mark this. Um, so we're gonna put one, on, here we go, one silicone like that, let this guy process up and then we'll get ready. So I do recommend making up a few of these, uh, of this thing, things that you guys want. So we'll leave that connected. All right, back here over at the setup, um, we need to insert the item from the side. Now we're going to switch over to hover real quick. All right, so we need this item to be inserted in the side because we want it to go into this slot, so it has to be coming from the side. So what we're going to do is just simply come on over here like so. Perfect. All right. There we go. Now we're also going to have one come here and here like this. And then we can actually just go ahead and run a cable directly down just like so. So we're going to go ahead here and let's see here. All right. So you need to click on the actual like block itself, not on one of the ends. And then because this is going to be where the redstone goes, we're going to mark this as dark red. Um, we're going to make this one yellow because gold is going to go in here. All right. And then we are going to mark this one as black because that's the closest to the, the dark gray. 
So there we go. So it will only allow items marked with those colors in on those sides. So if we come over here like so, new filter, um, we'll do an item. We will mark it as silicone, click here till we get to black. There we go. And so now any item that is in here, as you can see is marked black, will go directly into this port here. Perfect. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do gold as well. So yellow is there. Uh, we're gonna do new filter, item stack, click gold for it, mark this as yellow, perfect. All right, now if we put yellow into here, this actually will probably bounce because we don't have the proper press in there right now. Let's see. Nope, that went right in, perfect. All right. All right, let's go ahead and add in that press just to be safe. Perfect. So as soon as those guys have power, they'll be working. We'll run power out the, the side here. Okay. All right, so for the bottom one here, you're going to need to go ahead and, and leave these two open, unfortunately, because uh, we do need to insert the silicone here and then uh, the other guy, which we have, like the, the glass. Or no, not the glass, but the, the logic... We'll run it here. So what you need to do is mark it so that can't connect. Um, we're gonna run it just like this. Okay, so as you can see, the item once it's finished will come out of here. I marked that wrong. This is ridiculous. I need a better jetpack. All right, so that one does need to connect, so this one will come out, put right into the top, so we'll mark that as there. All right, so that side has been taken care of, and then all we need to do now is essentially the same thing, but we need to mark that one, no go, and here, no go, whoops. Perfect. All right, so that one comes out of the silicone, puts the silicone in on the bottom, just like so. And then all we need to do here is just run a cable out. Like that. And then you can simply just run this straight back up into the chest you started with. Hey, yo. There you go. So as soon as we give this thing power from Applied Energistics, this thing will start running, which is very, very cool. But yeah, this is all set up. That, that's how easy it is. Very, very, very cool. So what we're going to have to do here is we're actually not going to have the bricks in set one. We're going to use the vertical slabs, but I gotta show you guys something funny. I don't know if you noticed this before, but they just updated the pack and we have kind of a weird, <laughs> these are still called the, uh, these are the the slabs that we put on, the chisel and bits ones, but for some reason now they're uh, goldish rooms. I'm gonna leave those, those are really funny. If you guys hate them, I'm sorry, but they're staying. And yeah, that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and make some more of those vertical um, vertical slabs here. All right, and so all we need to do is just simply shift, rotate. Just like that. So we're going to have to kind of mimic it up here simply to keep it looking good. But yeah, that's it. That's all That's all you need. We could even put like a stair here to make it look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, let's get power over to this guy and you'll see that these guys are, are working. Now, I'm pretty sure these guys require a channel, but unfortunately, we really don't have 
the infrastructure yet to automate it. So what we're going to be doing is just simply running them from power from like a dimensional guy. Yeah, one of these guys here. Because these guys are good to go. We are getting really close to upgrading these. We just need to find a guardian temple. We should be able to do that no problem. So um, let's see. Does this connect? We might need an energy acceptor. All right, take our energy acceptor here, and we just simply plug it in, like so. We should start to hear this thing click. Yep, it means it's working. So that processor goes in here. Oh, you kind of need the presses, right? The presses, right. And so the cool thing is these will stack over here, so we will have a little bit of a uh, of a backflow for them. But this one wasn't set properly. Let me get it right. There we go. And the cool thing is I also found that you can upgrade these cables without having to break them all. You just click them with the, the upgrade. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We have the ability to upgrade these cables to be a little bit faster, so let's give it a shot. And to do that, all you do is take these infused alloys, and then you'll take the alloy after this as well. Let's find it. Here, you you infuse these, and then you just click the the cables we have here with them. So let's go ahead, I'll show you guys the, this cool thing I found out. Yeah, so you just click it, and it does eight cable, just like that. Don't have to undo everything. This is such a quality of life thing. People who do mechanism, or who did mechanism, thank you, I love you. So now all of these are moving quicker. Now we just put it like acceleration upgrades into these guys, but check it out. We should be getting, getting the processors here. We are not, because I forgot to set this. And we also don't want that connecting. Okay, just double checking everything. Yep. So those are getting sent off now. How did you get in? Let's just keep an eye on this real quick. Perfect, look at that. These are fully automated here. As you can see, red, yellow, black, we're all good to go. Yep, only silicones getting put in here. Perfect, and we are getting our logic processors. Amazing. So yeah, very easy for you guys to replicate. Feel free to use the design. Just let me know down in the comment section that you used it. I'd love to hear what you did, or if you made it better, it'd be great. All right, guys, so I went ahead and just added in the other ones here. These guys are, in fact, working, but nothing's been set up. Uh, as you can see, we've got the calculation processors, everything in there. Uh, I have gone ahead down here and actually upgraded this to a dense cable all the way over here from down below. Unfortunately, this is all the wool we have because that is our limit. So we're going to have to kind of set up a, either a string or a spider get, to get string or maybe a, just a sheep farm. So, yeah, we do have the ability to go ahead and get these guys going. So we're going to need a import and I'm oh, sorry an ME, an, an ME interface and an import bus what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I was just thinking about it I want to go ahead and get an anvil there's a very distinct reason for this so we're gonna go here uh, we're gonna name these one at a time this one is going to be named Logic processor. Engineering processor. And so when we uh, eventually get a storage uh, bus where we can see these from one little terminal, we will be able to determine what is what. Uh, so this is calculations. We're going to use this guy here. 
place him there. Calculation, bam. Import, bam. Perfect. All right. So then engineering is over here. Engineering, import bus, perfect. And then one more. We got logic and import, perfect. So now we're gonna be able to run the cable to all these. I don't know if that actually saved it. That was an old trick they used to be able to use. But then I would I really like it if it still worked. And we're gonna go pook. Yep, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and run the cable like so. That way we can still make that outside one look good. Okay, yep, these guys are online, perfect. All right, now continuing this over here. Um, actually, I think it would be best, well, let's go ahead and get these guys squared away. All right, they're connected here. So let's run the cable down here. All right, there we go. Missing channel. Bam, online, perfect. All right, and then the one more, as you see here, we're using this one as in between. So this one only has, I think, four channels on it. Yeah, so we got one, two, three, four. So we can go ahead and add five, six, because these can only hold up to eight. Uh, until we go ahead and upgrade them. So they're a little tight. All right. Oops, where did I place that? Anywho, going to be placing this here. Gosh, I am running cables all over the place. Screw it, we're just gonna give it its own channel, or its own side. So now we should see 11 pop in. Yep, there we go. That means all of these guys are currently online. Uh, very, 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 very cool. All right, so the, the portion for the processors is officially done as of now uh, we can go ahead and put the acceleration cards in to go ahead and make everything better for us but we're going to be worrying about that later so now with those done we need to go ahead and make up a few things so applied all right so we're going to need to go ahead and make some crafting storage in order to start the craft for these guys uh, for the processors, so basically we just need one of these guys. So we'll go ahead hit A here. We don't need you anymore. And we actually have what it takes to make that perfect. All right, so we do have enough to go ahead and make a, a 1K drive here, which is very helpful. Um, let me see here. I think we're going to go ahead and break this guy and put him here. Okay. It's a processor. Let's get these guys out of here. Okay, so it still doesn't show. Oh, we didn't make the recipe. We need to go ahead and make the terminal for that. <clears throat> All 
All right, so we need to make up two very important terminals here. They're gonna be other face plates. They're gonna go here and here. Uh, so we need to go ahead and make up the pattern terminal. This is going to allow us to go ahead. Let's see here, yep. It's gonna allow us to go ahead and make auto crafting a thing. Very, very cool. Very excited about this. All right. So we're gonna break that one. Gonna break that one. Bam. Bam, look pretty. Okay, so this will allow us to create the patterns for everything to craft. Now, we need to go ahead and let our system know uh, that when you supply redstone, silicone, and gold, it makes one of these logic processors. Uh, so without it knowing that, it's not gonna know to do it. So we should have, yep, we got a little bit of silicone here, perfect. So redstone, gold, and silicone make one logic processor. Now we also need to make some patterns in order to save it. Yep, here we go. Oh, that's from refined storage. Sorry, the patterns look a little bit different from applied energistics, so I'm not used to it. Um, Yep, should be able to make at least a few. All right, perfect. So now we have this encoded pattern. Now we can go ahead, go back up here, and go up to the ME interface and actually set it in there uh, like manually. But if we make this ME interface terminal, we can kind of skip that. Bam. All right, so check it out. Okay, perfect, so these did save their names. So now we, like we really only need it for this here, but now if we go to logic, let's give it 11. Okay, so we should see that this is holding the recipe here. If we come back up here, yep, we can see the gold. All right. Yep, we can see all the materials have been put out there. Very good. Okay. Yep, says we're 10, so one was crafted up. Okay, so what what happened here? So why didn't any of the redstone dust get put in? All right, let's try canceling this again and seeing what oop, what went wrong. So we can go ahead here, cancel the crafting process. So we did get one. Let's just craft up five. Dang, automatic. No redstone or silicone getting put in. Okay, so let's try something else. All right, so if we come up here, 
And we go over to our ME interface. And we put this to have 10 on hand, this to have 10 on hand, this to have 10 on hand. So what that does is it allows the pattern to have the materials that'll have at least 10 available at all time for it. Um, so let's go ahead and see if that fixes it. Cancel here. Okay, I did see silicone up in the top one, so that's good. Oops. But again, nothing. Let me try a normal chest, see if that helps us out at all. Oh, I found the issue here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to come here and only allow this to pull out the logic processors. That is my bad, very simple mistake. Make sure you guys do configure that. We can go ahead, put the gold uh, chest back here. But the problem was, is as soon as it was putting items in, it was sucking them back out. Um, so it was confusing the system a bit. So, let us let us try something here. And the reason why it worked a couple times is because um, that exporter wasn't very fast, so it was able to actually get a few of them crafted. But now if we go here, we hit 11, we hit that, we should have no problem whatsoever with this. Yep, look at that, it's all sitting here waiting to go into there, perfect. All right, and then when we put these acceleration upgrades here, uh, this is what they will be doing. And we do have kind of a bit of a lot of these. So yeah, and then once this is done crafting this up here, we'll watch it kind of go out. Come on up here. And boop, it gets taken out. Perfect. All right, very simple fix. A bit of a heart attack on that one. We look here, yep, crafting nine. So two have been crafted. Eight, yep, so it is, it is currently working. Perfect. All right, let's get these guys back in. And then the other thing is, if we go like this and you just middle click on it, that used to be a thing. I guess it's not anymore. That is unfortunate. But if you move over to craftable, that's the other way to go ahead and see it. Kind of inconvenient, but it still gets the job done. So perfect. All right, now we need to get some basic crafting going over here. We're just gonna work on this, this guy over here on this side. So, we're gonna need quite a few ME interfaces and quite a few molecular assemblers. These are what craft things. So these hold the, I guess you would call them, the, these hold the patterns and then these craft the patterns. That's what I meant to say. Um, so we do need to make quite a bit of these guys. And we should have a way to kind of automate that, these here soon. We're out of glass though. Yeah, so that's the, the exact same thing. Ooh, is that quartz glass actually? It is. Okay, so let's get some crafting tables here. Okay, so we have 12 of these. We're gonna need to craft up a little bit more of these. 
These take just normal glass. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we're going to set up a cool kind of way for this. So we're going to have a cable running here that we can kind of break. Oh, we need just one more, I think two more cable or something like that. All right. So we will definitely need to upgrade these here really soon. So, all right. So we're gonna have an ME interface here. This is online, because this guy down here is connected. Then we're gonna have molecular assembler here, molecular assembler here, that guy here, that guy here, that guy here. And then we're gonna kind of just switch these back and forth. And so the cool thing is, is especially when we get to this guy here, this one ME interface, when it has a recipe, will have four molecular assemblers to use while it makes, like, while it's trying to use the recipe. So all we have to do is just put our, like, our, our 1K drives here, and it will craft four of them at a time unless one of these guys is using it here. So this one will have three. This one's only got two, but for a majority of them, you'll be able to use more than just, than just one. So just like this. All right, pretty cool if you ask me. Just like so, and so we'll, we'll fill the rest of that with uh, the molecular assemblers, but that's how that's gonna look. And now if we look over here, yep, we should see there's only six molecular, or eight molecular assemblers online. So yeah, we only see a few of them, unfortunately, because we don't have the, the proper cables. Once we get the, the dense cables, we'll be able to connect these all the way up, no problem. But now what this means is we get to go ahead and start auto crafting things. So whatever we put over here uh, in the, the crafting pattern, um, whatever is crafted, that thing will craft and make it for us. So let's go ahead, do one case, because that is what we need first of all. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll allow substitutions. So if we come over here, we're gonna place this guy in this one. And if we look here, bam. So that's our that's our, our guy. So let's see if we can make up some 1Ks. Alright, 10 1Ks. We're missing 44 redstone. Why? Oh, I get it. So we need to break the line here. Well, here. Okay, so we had too many, too many of those guys here, but we should see our guys come back online. Yep, there they are. Okay. So what had happened is we had too many channels being taken up by our, our molecular assemblers, so it was taking the channels away from these guys, so we couldn't see the redstone. This is what everyone hates about AE2, but we, we can get around it. There's no problem. It's just something you got to be aware of. All right, so 1Ks. Let's make 10 of them. All right, and if we come over here. Are we crafting? Oh. Are they done? Oh, they're done. Holy heck. Okay. So let's see about maybe making some 4Ks. All right. So we're getting our first problem here. We have our quartz glass. Now, we definitely need quartz glass automated, but we need to find a way to automate glass and automate the surface quartz dust. So we're not going to really be able to get too far with that one, unfortunately. So 4K1, we will normally we would put in like another one with four that are attached to it. Um, but unfortunately, we are gonna just throw it into here. So one 4K. And then for this guy, we'll just throw the, the glass over there. So let's see here, 4K, it'll probably tell us we can't craft it. Let's see if we can make two of them. Oh, we can. And 4K, yep, there they are, already crafted up, very cool. 
Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we have for today. We went ahead and set up the the very basics for auto crafting and uh, kind of auto processing. Really happy with how this turned out. Uh, it's going to come in handy a lot. Going to be uh, putting in the, the acceleration upgrades here pretty soon. Uh, so anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.